are you preparing for CSIR net and you want to know about the top books that you need to prepare for the CSIR net examination, especially if you are concerned for unit three. Hello everyone, myself Diksha Shandile from Biotechnica and today I'm here to talk about top five books that are important for your preparation for the unit three of CSIR net examination. So let's get started. I hope you will like this video at the end. So. Unit third of CSIR net syllabus, the title of unit third is fundamental processes. So fundamental processes comprise of several sections. So I am talking about the each section, each topic that has been provided in the CSIR unit three syllabus. So the first section comprise of DNA replication, repair and recombination. Next topic is RNA synthesis and processing. The next section is top uh, protein synthesis and processing and the last one is control of gene expression at transcriptional and translational level. So there are certain subtopics that are in these uh, headline topics. So these topics are important. These topics are the part of uh, CSIR unit three syllabus and I'm recommending top five books that you can study that you can refer for unit three preparation of the CSIR net syllabus. So the first book, book number one, the gold standard for every preparation, for every student who is preparing the first book is Leninger. Why Leninger is important? Because it has lot of concepts regarding different domains of biology, be it biochemistry, be it molecular biology, be it cell biology, be it bioprocess, uh, sorry, biomedical engineering such as thermodynamics part. So it, it has lot of uh, concepts of different domains clubbed together. So there's one gold standard book that you can refer for a lot of concepts for a lot of topics that have been provided in the CSIR syllabus. Especially for unit third, I am highlighting some of the topics for unit third that are part of uh, unit third and that is important and that has been given precisely and that has been clearly depicted in the Leninger. So the first, some of the topics that uh, that is there is first DNA replication, second one is DNA rep repair, third one is recombination, then transcription, then protein synthesis. So these topics if you are studying these topics, please refer, refer to Leninger. These topics are clearly illustrated, clearly explained in Leninger. The second book that I'm referring, Molecular Biology of the Gene. So it is a book by Watson. So this book, most of the student have referred it do, during their graduate and uh, undergraduate or postgraduate times. So this book is important and the certain, uh, certain topics of this book, which is really given well, which has been really explained well, which you can refer from CSIR unit three syllabus are RNA splicing, translation, genetic code, transcriptional regulation in prokaryotes, transcriptional regulation in eukaryotes. So basically genetic regulation has been well explained in this book. Next is regulatory RNAs. Last one is gene regulation in development and evolution. So if you want to refer to these topics, these topics are well explained in molecular biology of gene. Then book number third. So the next book is Lewin's Gene 12. So this book, Lewin Gene 12, is good if you have doubts regarding genes that are DNA. Genes are DNA in code for RNA and polypeptides, topics such as chromosome, topics such as role of chromatin, gene silencing. So these topics, if you have to refer to these topics, these topics are well explained in Lewin's Gene 12. So for unit three preparation, for unit three preparation of these topics, you can refer to Lewin's Gene 12. The next book, book number four. Book number four is Molecular Biology by Clark. Molecular Biology by Clark is an effective book if you are looking for topics such as cell division and DNA replication. So DNA replication, you can either refer to Leninger, you can refer to this book also. These are the topics that has been explained 
really neatly and effectively in molecular biology by Clark. So the first topic is cell division and DNA replication. The second topic is protein structure and function. The third one is processing of RNA. The fourth one is plasmids and viruses. So there are phages, there are viruses. These topics are mentioned in unit three syllabus. So you can refer to this book to get your concept clarity in these topics. The last one is analysis of gene expression. So these topics uh, are really important. These topics hold a lot of vintage from unit third, unit third in CSIR net examination. So these were the four books that I have mentioned for your preparation. And these were the topics, highlighted topics that are given really well and precisely in the books that I have mentioned separate the last one is book number five. So since fundamental processes belongs to cell biology as well as molecular biology, there is one book calf cell and molecular biology which combines the applications of cell and molecular biology. It combines the study, the concepts of cell biology as well as molecular biology. So you can refer to this book if you want to intercross your knowledge about cell biology, molecular biology and if you want to know about the fundamental processes that are going inside the cell. So this is the book which you can refer calves, cell and molecular biology. For unit three, some of the topics are given really well. You can refer to this book and you can highlight and those topics which you can you feel that you, you are comfortable in referring to this book or else you can refer to any other book. You can refer to Lodish, you can refer to uh, Clark, you can refer to any other book. But this book has a joint connection of cell and molecular biology for fundamental processes. You can refer to this book easily. So and the last one is molecular biology fourth edition by Micklin. Why this book is important? So basically you are referring to some, in all of the books. You need to prepare for unit three of CSIR examination. You have referred to the standard books. Now you need revision in order to revise, in order to jot down the concepts that you have studied through the references, through the reference book that you have used throughout your syllabus. It's important to revise all those topics, which you can't revise if you have two months of time and if you are preparing for for the CSIR examination and you have lesser time to revise. So you can refer to instant notes of molecular biology. Most of the topics from unit three of CSIR syllabus is mentioned clearly, is defined clearly, is precise. It's precise. The conceptual clarity is very nice in molecular biology by Micklin. So basically they have taken the, they have used certain uh, several references, several reference book and they have taken the gist of those reference books and they have make a short notes for your preparation. So if you have less time, you can definitely refer to this book for your precise preparation for your revision. So once you are done with your concepts, once you are done with the uh, done with the preparation, you can definitely go to molecular biology fourth edition by Micklin and you can get the idea, get the fundamental processes, they get the idea of all the concepts in one book and you can revise, you can revise in a short span of time and you can prepare, you can give your examination. So revision from a book that consists of the summary of all those concepts that you have studied is very important after you have taken several references. So it's very important for you to stick to one book during your revision time and not deviate your mind reading certain uh, references, certain reference books. So it's not important for you. It's not necessary. It will ruin your preparation. So basically these were the books that will aid your preparation for unit third of CSIR net cell I hope you have liked this video. If you have any other book which you can suggest for the students that are preparing, please mention in the comment box below. I hope you have liked this video. Thank you so much for watching.